another fun Friday Shark video. I'm Griffin and this is Mari and today we're going to be making our own ant farms. Yeah, so ant farms are a great way to study ants. Um, you can purchase these, but they're not too difficult to make. Um, what kind of materials did we gather? Um, a mason jar and some a shovel and a stool. Yeah, so and some sugar water. Yeah, we'll feed them sugar water. So the t you need two things to create a small space together. So this one fits inside, but without a lot of extra space around it, so that you can see the ant tunnels. Um, it's fine, you could put ants into a big jar like this, but they may just tunnel more towards the middle and you wouldn't be able to see them. So the kind that you buy is kind of two pieces of plastic with um, some sort of material or dirt in the middle um, so that you can see uh, the tunnels that they are building. But um, go ahead and make them yourself. You could also make them out of a CD case. We didn't have any, um, so what we found were these jars. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just put a tiny bit of dirt in the bottom of the bigger jar. You want to yeah, have as few rocks as possible. Great job. Then you're going to take your second jar and you want to have a lid on it. You, don't, you want it just to be empty. It's just providing space. Okay, now the tricky part. Griffin and Mari are going to try to get dirt in between the two jars. You might have to shake it around and you just fill it up to fill in all that space. So while we were um, looking for a place, you want to use dirt um, and ants that are close together um, so that you kind of keep them in their same environment. So we found a little group of ants that are living by the dirt here. Usually you want maybe 10 or 20 ants in a um, so go ahead and do your ant farm, depending on the size of your jar or container that you're using. And the reason we are studying ants are that they uh, live communally in a um, colony and they're really interesting to watch. They dig, they have different jobs. Um, some of them hunt for food, some of them take care of the nest. So we think that they're gonna be great for observing. jar just to take some patience yeah. yeah make sure you don't have too many rocks because there's only a small space and it's done. Gonna get, yep sand put it on the lid of the first jar and kind of shake it through We actually found we had to take the ring off of the inner jar, huh? Was it too tight? Yeah. So, need a little more. You want it to go just about to the top of the, the lid. Okay. Okay. Got some 
Jordan? Then we'll put the ant. a surface at the top that you can feed them on um, when you open the lid. You can put in sugar water, you can put in little pieces of food, huh? Yeah, I can feel it vibrating. They're certainly not getting stuck now. Oh, look at some are climbing up the stick. Yeah. They like it. Yeah, they like that stick. <laughs> They're tumbling all over each other. Ant farms are really great ways to get your kids to um, make scientific observations. Again, you can use a data sheet and watch what they're doing. Um, when you have a bigger colony, we just chose a small one, you can even see how they choose different jobs and how they work together. Um, if we wanted to do that, we would have to put more ants in, but since we were new to ant farming and trying to do it ourselves, we, we started small. So we'll see where we expand this and what they do next. All right, what are we seeing our ants doing today? Drinking the water we just put in. Yeah, why did we add water? Theo died because of they didn't have enough moisture in there. Yeah, when do we, we live in a dry spot? Yeah. Yeah. When we put the cloth on, it dried out quicker than just the, um, the metal top. Yeah. And what, what kinds of activities, Mari, have we seen the ants doing? Um, moving dirt into the top of the can. I see and moving digging. rocks. Yeah, are they pretty strong? Mm -hmm. Yes. Griffin yeah. was like, how did they do that? Yeah, they move the rocks and the dirt. So these guys haven't tunneled very deep. They just make this, they just cleared, it, cleared out this little bit of a tunnel, right? Along the edge of the can. Yeah. And then they moved it into the top there. Anything else? No. Do you guys like observing the ants? Yeah, it was fun to yeah. observe them. You're going to keep observing them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you make your own ant farms. See you next time.